All right, well now it is time for the weather and the cold front has hit Wisconsin pretty hard overnight. Wouldn't you say, Charles? Let's check in with meteorologist <laughs> Brian Goddard. Brian, what happened? <laughs> Uh, the wind shifted, so it was a gusty wind all weekend. Some folks were actually complaining it was too windy, but that wind is why we were so warm. And then it shifted off the lake, and temperatures dropped at least 20 to 25 degrees in a very short time. The warm weather this weekend, though, I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but the trees started to pop. Uh, so if you have allergies, which a lot of us do, you're starting to feel that, but at least we're starting to get some green on the trees and get rid of this gray that we've had for months. Dandelions are popping up as well. Weeds and grass, none so far, but trees are high, shocking, and mold still moderate from last week's rain. And we were showing you the rain earlier. Not going to have to worry too much about rain this week. Uh, 77 on Saturday, 74 on Sunday, and then the roller coaster nosedive down to 43 today. And that's just telling part of the story. The wind chill today in the lower 30s with that brisk northeast wind off of Lake Michigan. 33 degrees colder right now than it was this time. It was about 6.15 or so yesterday when the temperature just decided to take the nosedive. 24 degrees colder in Whitewater as well as Watertown. It is currently 40 in Milwaukee. The north wind at 16 gusting over 20 is not helping matters at all. And we did have some sunshine today, but now the clouds have rolled back in. And it's because of that storm system off to the west. It is not going to affect us like the one last week. We're not going to have 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. We're not going to have 2 to 5 inches of rain. But we will stay cloudy the next couple of days and just a slight chance of rain. rain excuse me. You can see by afternoon just a 15% chance for rain tomorrow. That's it. So we're not going to get a lot out of this. Most of it stays west and south, but we will stay cold and dreary. Uh, and it is going to be below normal. The next 6 to 10 days, the normal high is about 61, 62. We will not be above that anytime soon. A couple of days, it gets warmer. 56 on Wednesday. Thursday is 57. I'm giving it pretty much green lights across the board, except for a yellow light tomorrow, just because of that slight chance for a couple of light rain showers. Otherwise, you can go ahead and wash the car. But there is all that rain to the west and southwest, and that's kind of, it goes around us the next couple of days, and then by Thursday, we'll finally get some sunshine out of this, so not a repeat of the heavy rain and gusty winds of last week. Just a few clouds on late Wednesday and more sunshine for Thursday, but tonight, uh, it will be cloudy. By sunrise, could see a few spotty showers or sprinkles, temperatures uh, in the upper 30s to lower 40s, so we're not going to cool down much now between now and tomorrow morning because of that cloud cover. Tomorrow afternoon, not warming up too much. We're in the mid to upper 40s, maybe a 50 up around Fond uh, and ripping. Seven day forecast 56. Still kind of cloudy on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is the better day of the week. 57 degrees with sunshine and then windy and colder for Friday. Uh, Saturday 53 and Mother's Day some showers and 49. Ugh. It's, there's no more 60s or 70s anytime soon.